Hello and welcome to this InDesign tutorial. My name is Eric Burnskill and I want to show you in this video how InDesign CS 5.5 lets you define titles and text as different elements when you export to, for example, EPUB and HTML. Now, previously, if you wanted to have titles done separately from the normal standard paragraph tag, you would have to edit that afterwards. Now, in InDesign CS 5.5, there is a way to define this while you're defining your paragraph styles. And I find this pretty neat, actually. So what you do is I have a document here where I have a bunch of pages. Now, this is a workbook, so uh, it's made to explain tutorials. So we've got a title here, High Dynamic Range. There's some text. Then I've got a subtitle of that High Dynamic Range before I've got some extra text and again and again. So, of course, I have a different paragraph style set up for these different headings. And this one is my section heading. So I've got a section, section intro header. So if I double click on this paragraph style, go into the paragraph style options, I can find at the very bottom of this list export tagging. And what export tagging allows me to do is basically select a tag that I want the export to apply to this piece of text. Now you see normally here it's getting the P tag and you see what it's getting in terms of style because I have styled this text. So it's going to get the same style here as the original text that I have. So instead what I can do is I can define any tag myself so from automatic p h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 I can set what the section intro header is going to have when I export it to epub or html and the benefit here is that a I don't have to do it manually after the fact and, and b we're actually getting proper styling because h1 and p styles etc are all built into the epub reader so they're gonna read the h H1 and then style the article as looks best on the device that you're viewing it on. So this really helps. So what I can do is set H1 here. And if you're not familiar with HTML, this might not come as naturally. So I wanted to explain here a little the different orders. So obviously this is a sort of a semantic order. So you'd start with H1 being the topmost title. And you go down. So I choose the section header to be an H1 here, and then I can have H2 for the subtitles. And in, in this case, the sharpening here in camera roll, which is a, a, a page heading, my page heading would, under export tagging, definitely get the H2. And then I can go down and down, and I should probably go to the take the photo here, and I do this as an H2, as it is, because it already changes the paragraph style. So. What I can do, of course, is if I get this little step headings here, which which aren't their own paragraph style right now, but could be, if they were, I could make that an H3 and so and so down until you actually get a good layout document. So if I go here and I just do an export and I choose to export this as, uh, as a workbook .epub, place it on my desktop, and I don't, I just go ahead and export it. If I, it's going to take a little while for it to export that, right, all well, the images because it's quite image heavy. What I get now is my workbook.epub file. And if I were to go ahead and, and open this and have a look at this epub file, I would be able to find and see all of the different H1 tags, P tags that I've set right in here. So it's very easy to go ahead and do this now and InDesign CS 5.5 helping you to work with ebooks a lot faster than before. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.